Hi guys, if you have accidentally deleted a folder or file on your computer and it's been permanently deleted, then not to worry, as in this video I'm going to show you a Windows tool that you can use to recover any of your deleted files or folders. Now before we start, there's two places we need to check just to ensure the files are permanently deleted, and the first place you need to check is your recycle bin by coming to the start menu and searching for recycle bin, and then tap on the recycle bin icon, and usually what will happen when you delete a file or folder is they'll end up in this recycle bin before being permanently deleted deleted, so it's just worth checking in here for your file before moving on to the next step. If your recycle bin's already been emptied and there's nothing in here, that's absolutely fine. The next thing we need to check is our file history, which we can do by coming to the start menu and searching for the control panel, and tap on the control panel icon, and inside of here make sure you have view by set to category, then come inside of system and security, underneath file history, and if you have this file history option turned on, sometimes you can recover your files from here, but as you can see for me, I have this turned off so this isn't very useful, in which case we're going to perform the Windows File Recovery tool. So in order to do this, what you need to do is you need to come to the Start menu and search for Microsoft Store, and then tap on the Microsoft Store tab, and inside of the Microsoft Store, in the search box at the top here, you want to type in Windows Recovery, and hit Enter. And you'll see an application here called Windows File Recovery, it has this blue little icon, and we just need to hit Get to install this application. Now once you've downloaded Windows File Recovery, we need to open it up. You can either open it up from here, or you can come to your Start menu and search for Windows File Recovery, and then just tap on Windows File Recovery tab. And once you've opened Windows File Recovery, you should see this pop up on your screen. Now you have two different modes that we can use here, either regular or extensive. The regular mode is basically for any files or folders that you have deleted recently, whereas the extensive mode is for files or folders that you might have deleted a long time ago. Regular mode should be sufficient for most of you, so I'd recommend starting with this one, and if you can't recover the files using regular mode, I'd recommend using the extensive command. So first thing we need to type in here is winfr, and that's going to be the start of all the commands that we put inside of here, followed by the spacebar, and you need to specify the drive in which the file was saved in. So before my file was deleted, it was located in the C drive, so I'm going to type in C colon, followed by the spacebar, and then you need to specify the drive in which you want the file to be restored to. Now please note this must be different to the original C drive. So because my original file was located in the C drive, I can't then recover the file back to the C drive, it has to be a different drive. So what I've done is I've plugged in a USB stick into my computer which is in the D drive, so I'm just going to restore the file into there by typing in D colon, followed by the spacebar, followed by forward slash, and this is where we type in regular. Now I'd recommend for all of you to first do a regular scan, and if that doesn't work then you can try the extensive mode, but it does take a lot longer to scan your computer. So we can just hit the enter key now and that's going to scan your entire C drive for any files or folders that have been deleted, which could be a lot of files, so I'd recommend to try and specify it a little further by typing in spacebar forward slash n. And this N is used as a filter key to filter our search and go into specific folders and files. For example, if your file that you deleted was in a folder called Photos, you can type that in here. And once again, we can press Enter, or we can go one step further by even specifying the type of file that it was. So we can do backslash, spacebar, asterisk, period, and the file extension of where you want to search for. So I know mine was a photo, so I can search for PNG or JPEG, depending on the file that you're missing. You you can also do the same with documents like docx or even .pdf if you're looking for a PDF file. So once you've typed in the command key, it will ask you if you want to continue, just press Y on the keyboard and hit enter, and then give it some time to complete the scan. This is a scan that I done earlier, as you can see here are all the files that have found. And once the scan's finished, you can just come over to the folder where you saved the files to. For instance, for me it was in my D drive, and you've got all these recovery folders here, which is where my recovered files are located. Now if this doesn't work for you, there's one more thing that we can try and that's by using a free tool. So simply head over to an internet browser and you need to come to the website cccleaner.com backslash recover backslash download. And once you're on this page, you can just scroll down to the free download section and click that. Then once you've downloaded Recover onto your computer, simply launch up the application, follow the steps on screen. Here you have some different options of what files you're trying to recover. If you're not sure what file type it was, you can just select all files. Or if you know it was a picture, we can select pick pictures and the same with music and documents. I'm just gonna keep it at all files. Then we can hit next. Once again, if you know where the files were located, if there was a specific 
specific folder in which was deleted, you can specify it in here. Otherwise, you can just put I'm not sure and hit next again. There'll be a checkbox here to enable a deep scan. I'd recommend leaving this for the first initial scan. And if it can't find it on the first scan, then you can come back into here to enable the deep scan. But like it notes, it can take over an hour to do this. So for now, let's just press start. And this shouldn't take too long at all. Just wait a couple of minutes for the scan to complete. And there we have it. Now you can see all of the files that have been deleted from my computer. As you can see at the bottom here, it's found 343,000 different files. So it definitely helps if you know which folder or which file type you're trying to recover to try and narrow this down. But hopefully by using one of these tools, that's helped you to recover any files you may have permanently deleted from your computer. If this video did help you, please drop a like and subscribe. Until next time.